Hello everybody and welcome once again to Lost Souls. I've been reasonably busy, not doing too much anyway, just a bit of tidying up, things like that. Um, and I also upgraded to the latest version, which I think is 1.0.3.8. And they disabled inventory tweaks, but you can simply enable it again, it's just the jar files being disabled. So that's a good thing to do. I would recommend doing that because it's a real pain not being able to sort things out. Anyway, let's have a look. I've got a loot chest here and I think I've got some more quests to claim. So let's do the, those first of all. What have we got? Oh, that's pretty good actually. Not too unhappy with that uncommon quest. Now I think F4. I've programmed it not to F4. And I think it's X. Yeah, this one. Auto sieve. I think we shall go for, ooh, hmm. I'll go for the chance cubes. Barrel. I think I'm going to go for the chance cube again. Two of them. What have we got here? Compressed diamond hammer. That one, and this one is also choice reward. Three loot chests or three ice hand. Mm, good difficult one. I'll take that one anyway. So there's not too much on here. I haven't done the hammer yet uh, and I haven't done the compressed hammers. I probably should do them but we'll do that another day I think. Today what I'd like to do is, well Better With Mods is just about finished. The one I'm having a bit of trouble with is Slime Balls. I don't understand this quest. <laughs> I don't see where it's relevant to uh, Better With Mods. Anyway, let's have a look at tinkering. We could do a smart output. In fact, I want to do this one. The reason I want to do this is because I want to do heat from power. Power from heat, I think, is the next one along. And then smart upgrades. So, a smart casting. Let's have a look at that. I said I was going to do applied energy. Um, applied energy six. Actually, additions today, but I'm not going to do that just yet. In fact, let's have a quick base tour while I've been busy so here's everything as it was I think and I've got the chance to keep some things in here haven't I so I'll put those in there like that I've only got two more loot chests should open those up shouldn't I some more stardust I presume that's useful and some spawn eggs a spawn sheep and a spawn wolf okay that's actually quite good so I've been sorting stuff out as you can see spawn eggs I can keep in here I think I've got something in here I don't want to put in here. What have we got in here that's not so... I think these two... Oh, that. We shall definitely take those out of here. Put the spawn in there. And we've got some more of this, so we can put that into there as well. And sort that out. I actually did get a special... <laughs> from here, you, every once in a while you get something unusual. And the one I got unusual today was... Let's take those out of there and put those away. Those two can go up there. Um, the armour I'm putting over here. Like that. And it's quite useful. You can take some golden helmets, for example. And iron helmets. We'll come to that in a minute, I think. And use that. Because the actual recipe for golden helmets is quite hard. This, an infinity booster card I got from uh, the mob farms. But don't ask me where it, what mob dropped it. No idea. Anyway. I got one. That will be very useful later on. Uh, that's one of the best things there is for um, applied energistics. So what else have we got in there? Right, that's empty. I think I've had to upgrade one or two of these as well. And I've got some some bones now as well. So that's, what are they called? These ones. I don't know what they're called actually, to be honest with you. It's like the same as that, but for normal skeletons. So today... What I'd like to do. Oh, let's go and have a look at something else. I put down some more power. In fact, I just put down another windmill. We did that last a previous episode, so I didn't bother doing it with you. But I actually had quite a difficult job finding a place to put it. I was putting it. Oops, hello you. Where are you going to? Let's have what shall I improve today? This one. Good. The katana. 
I had to, I tried putting it down in front of the swimmer that just made this one go slow and stop. It didn't work at all. And so now I put moved the, moved the power all around basically. So this one's actually got enough power in to actually do some metal work. Oh, it's actually getting full. Okay, good. I'll let that get full. And this thing has actually <laughs> has caused it to break. Look at this. This is not working anymore. And the reason it's not working anymore, this is just going round forwards and backwards like that. So what I have to do, I think, is I have to remove... I suppose we could remove this one. I'm not sure how to do this, to be honest with you. And that one. We could probably put it between these two. I didn't want to do that. Because I think it makes it go backwards. It doesn't make it go round the whole prop the way properly. Ah, yes, you see, it's not doing it. It's stopping when it hits here. And I don't know why that does that. It behaves like that. But what I'd done with this is I'd run it across onto here, a block dispenser. So in the block dispenser, you can put stuff in it, and it'll just basically drop stuff out. So, for example, here I've got some oak planks. I'll have to connect this back up again. I'll put the oak planks in here like that. They will get dispensed down here, and then the saw will chop them up, which is great. So if I want that to work properly, let's remove that. And then this time it should go around and trigger this. There you go. So every time it triggers that, it drops one of those blocks of uh, planks down, gets sawn. It's actually fairly, you don't see it, it's fairly fast. Then it gets picked up by the hoppers and it ends up in here. And it's ending up here as these oak wood sidings. So let's just take those sidings. We've got 64 now shove those into that as well let that process and then we'll have some moldings as well and you look at this it basically alternates between whatever's in there which is quite nice really like that now the first thing i'm going to craft today was a tip by bob the big bat bob the big bat has suggested i make an uh an obsidian a breaker from um embers so let's have a look at that first of all. And it's the this one. Automatic breaker. So we need two iron plates, some lead ingots, and some that's fairly straightforward, just two iron plates basically. If we can do it in here. I was making some light. Oh I haven't changed that yet, have I? Do that next. So now we could probably make this straight off. Automatic breaker item transfer. Like that. Don't need that with this, do we? Well, what do you do with this? Did you put it down? I want some lava with me. I've got some lava in here. Yeah, got enough. Plenty. Good. So I'll just remove this dirt from here because I want it to go down at the same place as that and it's going around like this and all you then do is you put your lava in here like this change that to deposit mode Oomph. and just pick it up again and it doesn't hurt when you're on it so that's okay too and it's fairly fast and fairly easy so that's a very good tip thank you very much Bob the Big Bat I think that's now all of those bits of is that empty. Yes, good. So we've got six pieces of that obsidian. All right, what I didn't show you was in here. Basically, I put the lights into here. So and I spaced them out so that it was two blocks between. So every third block, I think these things seem to work, giving light in a three by three area. I think is the area, the way I've done it. And they've just basically put some straightforward redstone up here. Just to, just to power them along and that works just fine as you can see let's get to the side of that actually while I'm here I'm going to do some, start something else get some preparation this I need 16 pieces of cobalt oops one too many and 16 of our diet like that and I'm going to put these into the smeltery and what I've done here is I've basically knocked that wall down between the two so 
we've got a bit more space not in here but the other side so what I'm going to do is put these into f as four by fours so we'll just split these into fours like this put like that and four like this and the reason for that is oops I don't want the six I want four I have to do it like this okay uh, right that's fine and four because this capacity of this thing is 16 ingots and it's, it's got none in each of these takes two ingots so basically four gives you eight yeah and then I want to do the um, cobalt next after I've done those so we basically alternate those going through I'll just leave that and I don't want this making ingots for me so I'll turn that off what I want to do is make a hammer I want to do the ore crusher. One thing I haven't done yet is the very much with power, and I would like to do a bit today. So let's hopefully we can do that. I want to move this, up, this up out of my inventory like that, so I don't need it at the moment. And what I can also do is make a second. No, I can't. Not at the moment because that thing's all full. <laughs> I don't have much capacity in the, in the smelter, but I don't think it matters that much because we're not doing things very fast anyway. Um, Malacqua told me to make this um, dank null. And this is actually really great. You can shift right click it. Oh, very good. Shift right click it. And then you can put items in here. And the one that's selected is when you right click it. So, for example, if at the moment this, this is selected, if I hold down the shift and the mouse button, it changes what's selected like that and it also has another feature which is quite neat I wonder what I'm just uh, having a little bit of difficulty deciding what order I want to do things in actually I do know exactly what I want to do I want to make the mob masher I did some testing with the mob masher and it seems to give a lot more XP than what I'm getting at the moment so let's just shove these out of here actually in fact I could take a cobalt ore with me couldn't I that cobalt or oh, lapis take a cobalt put that to the deck null and if I ever go sh out and do some mining we've got some stuff in there already prepared so put it like that and anything you ha harvest it comes into here so I've got black concrete for somewhere oh yes because I was breaking the ship up <laughs> and hey, this ship was being a I think that was one of the things that was stopping things going but it's not a big deal this is full. Let me just turn this on and then turn this one off. Collect torps. Uh, no, I don't want to collect torps. I want it to be off altogether. It requires redstone. Oh, it's actually filling up. Okay. Let's get it to spray orbs, orbs then. Always on. So my XP is going up. Well, that's going up. Let's, let's upgrade something. I think I need to upgrade building to 32 or 30 so let's do that one while well, this is ticking on so it empties out yet yeah. it looks like it has hasn't it so we can turn it over and that'll fill up and I'll do another another layer of building I think while I'm thinking about it I should be able to do it. 17 no not quite good so that's finished I'm gonna break it I don't want it there anyway Put it up here with the others. Think that one's empty. That one's empty. And that was empty. Good. Right, I was waiting for the backup to finish because I can't find a way to turn her off permanently. It would be nice. Uh, one of the irritating new features of 12. Why wouldn't the Earth? Would anybody want to do that anyway? So right, what am I trying to do? I am trying to make a mob mash a mob masher, aren't I? Let's have a look at what we need to do for mob masher. So I know I have to build some spikes because it's part of the recipe. So we have to like build two spikes. So let's do that first of all. So we need, I think, three blocks of iron. If I've got that wrong, it doesn't make any difference. I can always fix that. 
So we need swords. Now swords are going to need sticks. So we need one, three for that, and two for that. So we're going to need six, eight sticks. I haven't got any with me, so let's just get eight sticks out of here. I think I've got, yep. Yeah. Let's carry on with that one. I should be able to get eight swords, fantastic. So then I should be able to do these two. Of course you have to do it twice because swords don't stack. Block of redstone. It's always the first one, strange. And I think just a block of iron. Oh, that's right, I've got the iron already, haven't I? Let's, should be able to do that then. Indeed we can. And I'm also going to do some upgrades. What I'm going to do to start with is possibly beheading. But that's quite a difficult one, because these are quite awkward. Look at the recipe for doing um, gold helmets. We've got to get a leather helmet and plates. Well, I'm going to use the mob drops for that one. That's what I'm keeping the mob drops for. So that's that one. And I'm also going to do smite which is dead easy because we basically need 10 of us so we need 40 pieces of um, rotting flesh so let's get 40 pieces of rotting flesh out of the system should have got a stack split that into four what do you do Like that, put those two. Oh, I can't do that way, can I? Oh, I could do it like this, of course. Put them into here. So now that'll be that. And then I need some gold nuggets. So we're going to make sure we've got enough gold nuggets. We need 40 of those as well. We've got 42. Great. So we should be able to make all of those smite ones. Here they are. Oh, wrong place. Do on the table, don't I? So max is 10, so I've got put, see, smite plus one, max of 10, so it's got 10 smite in there. And we can try to do a beheading one, so I need some, what do we need for that? Gold nuggets, so we need some gold nuggets again, I reckon. And we're going to need some helmets. Gold, and they have to be complete, they can't be damaged. Now in here, I should have some helmets, I've got... Two ham iron, gold, and two iron. And it doesn't matter if they're enchanted or not, the other one. So we should be able to get one beheading. Like that. There we can. Good. So those are the bits we need. We also need a, a lever. And I might have a lever in here. I have. Good. To turn it on and off. And I'm also going to take with me some redstone torches. Because I believe both Malacqua and Happens have told me that redstone torches will give enough light to turn off mob spawning, even on cursed earth. So let's get that. And I think I've got some in here. Eight lamp, eight lanterns. That'll be that probably do. So let's go and install those over here. So what I want to do is I need to be up one lower layer or so. Because I need to, really I should stop this before I do anything. The mobs aren't coming in that fast. And this, this one doesn't generate much XP. So what I plan to do with this is to go up and put the redstone lights on top of it. So let's do that. So I should need to go a bit higher than this. I think I can do that from here. got some torches with me. Yes, I have got to put some torches down while I'm going up. Now we can see better. So we should need to go up about three layers, I think. I'm not exactly sure. What I can do, of course, is to come here. There's a block right above my head. 
I think that's where it needs to go to. Right, she's coming out on the next floor up. So I suppose the best thing to do here now is to actually put a marker down so we know exactly where it is. So I want to put it here but one block above that. And I think this is the marker. So let's put a marker here, B. <laughs> B doesn't work because I read... Oh, yes, that's right. Control B, I changed. Turn off the narrator. Now, what did I call it? I've forgotten. <laughs> Let me have a quick look. I've for completely forgotten because it's so. I'm so used to that one. Let's go to controls. Let's go to um, journey map. Oh yes, it was Z. I put Z there. So Z. We can go to mark here. Just save that one. So it's only a temporary mark. I'll delete it afterwards. So here is the start of the the mobs. What have I forgot to that mob that one's called Grinder Six Meter. Yeah, okay. Let's just try going down here a bit. I'm not sure how far I've got to go down, but right, okay, so that's the actual pot. Oops, <laughs> did you see that? That was a very fast moving mob. So if I put a torch down here like this now. Like that. And then we could put a, oh, I'll put, put leave on it, won't I? That may prevent it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put, hmm. I'm just worried about one's flying, so I better do it manually, hadn't I? And I don't know how often we need to do them. So I'm going to do them every three, I think. The next one we'll put down here like that. And those will get picked up, I guess. What I should have brought with me is some redstone. Maybe I'll come back and get some redstone. What have I, what have I done with those levers? Oh, they're still in the bag. Oh, yes. Let's put the next one down. Turn it on. But I don't hear anything now, so maybe it is actually working. Oh yeah, that's the end spot there. It's very, it's very small this spawner. It's not, it's not at all. It's one of the surprisingly effective, considering how small it is. One, two, three. Yep, yeah, that looks like it's gone past the end of it. I don't know what's below there. I'll tell you what, we'll do. We'll put down the torch anyway, like that. So now we should, we're not getting any mob spawning because I can't hear any mobs being spawning, which is great. We'll just trundle down here. Uh, of course, it's now yeah, <laughs> a bit more difficult because I've somehow managed to lose a block. There's the bricks, there's the bricks in there. Can I do that? Oh, yes, I can. Good. Right. So now there are no mobs spawning. So we can safely move the diamond spike and put the mob grinder in there. Well, I've left, you know, and that's all right, I can still cope with that. So what we can now do is remove this one. Am I breaking the absorption hopper? Oh, I've got it, just in good. So now we can put down the mob crusher, like this. <laughs> that's what I was worried about. Yeah, I can just get it in place, that's great. And I can put these two in here like that. And then we can turn it on. Now, obviously, I've got I've put all the levers away, but it doesn't matter very much. We'll put, take one of the levers out. Of I've got a redstone torch, I think, in the bag. Yeah, the redstone torch will just do as well. So let's put the redstone torch down. Yeah. So that turns it on. So now we go upstairs and turn off the the, the lamps.
We should get some mob, oh, mob spawning in a few seconds, I hope. Well, I don't hear it yet. But of course, I picked up, dropped all those things I was doing stuff with. I'll sort that out. I wonder. Strange nothing. Ah, there we go. <laughs> what else I saying? <laughs> now, I've put this back again as it was. Now, my lacquer tells me I can actually put it straight underneath the absorption hopper, but you can't do it to the side. So now we should be getting a little bit more XP in here. What have we got? This is completely empty. Good. So this is we're going into here. So I should be going back into the base. Great. Okay, good. So we just leave that now and see what, what happens. From my earlier work, it seems that you get a ton of uh, XP from the mob uh, from the mob crusher. Right. I thought I'd yeah, let's put that away. I'm not sure I'm keeping this at the moment. I think they're in here. Okay, so I got them in here, good. I put the I'll put those redstone lanterns back in in here so we've got that tidied up out of the way. That's all that I did, yes, good. Is there anything else in that? Next one. Yes. I wanted to do Tinker IO, wasn't it? So what do we need for the Tinker IO stuff? Let's have a look. Can't spell it again. And it's I slash is it space I slash shirt? No, there we go. I think there must be more than that for Tinker IO. Oh, maybe apt. Try that one. We also need to make a tank. I know that one. And I think it has to be a... We can try it, in fact. We can try with the ones over here, because we don't... Portal engage. I think we need a smeltery tank. So the one we first of all we got to make was a smart output. Let's look at this. Ice. Seared bricks. Actually... Have we got... Oh, did I collect ice? I think I did collect some ice. Did I keep it? Or did I... Ha! Huh. No, I didn't. I was using it to test whether water worked. Okay. I'll tell you what. I won't... I'll break now. And come back in a few seconds. When I've gone and got the ice. I'll see you in a second. Right, I'm back with lots of ice. And I actually picked up some snow. Who knows? I bet we need snow for something rather a nice freeze, that one. So that's good. We can now craft this thing, I think. What do we need? Oh, seared, seared stone. That was a bit daft. I should have still got that going while I was out, shouldn't I? Anyway, seared stone's dead easy. We just need... I'm going to make a load of this, actually. So let's have a look. Ah, oh, yes, that's why I couldn't do it. I remember. We make seared bricks. So in here we should have plenty of manilium. I've got eight ingots. That's basically not quite a block. But what I want to do with this, <laughs> which I probably should have done in the first place, is to make a hammerhead. I need to make a hammerhead. So let's do that first of all. Let's take one of these patterns for a hammer from Tinker's Construct. And we need some stone. We need eight pieces of stone. We've got flowers. Look, that's actually while I'm here. Let's just harvest these flowers because they can grow again. And we need eight pieces of stone. Huh, can't do it. Six. Got 
Ja, nein, I can't mind. So what we now do is we go to the part builder, put the hammer bit in here, and make a part with that. Oh, you know, I have got myself into a bit of a knot here, haven't I? Hmm. Because what I need to do now is to put this into the smell tree. Oh, I can do that. That's no big deal. Phew. I've forgotten I've got this little one here, which works just fine. So all I need to do now is to go and get some uh, aluminium brass. One piece of that will do, I think. Put that into here. That should go quite quickly. And then we, from that we can then should be able to make the cast. And this should get consumed. So let's have a look at that. But what I'm aiming for is to make this thing, the ore crusher from Tinker's Construct. Have a look at that. Well, let's, let's turn that on now. Let's have a look at the ore crusher. So we know signaling we need three manilium hammerheads, two redstone torches, and some seared bricks tinning it. Really not too much of a problem. And a block of diamonds. So we've now got that. What I want to do with this one is to take that out and put that one in its place. I think that's one. And this takes eight. Out, well, the, oh, yes, that's right. I made a plate cast. Rather than use my hammer all the time, I thought I'd make a plate cast. Put that up there. Exactly the same as what I've just done, but using a, an iron plate as you used a nickel plate. So we should now be able to just check we've got it in there, yes. We should be able to filter this out of there. And those ones which are already here should also be smelted, and that should make some more. Because I don't think I've got enough now. that make one. We've got four ingots there, four of that. And these two will make the next four, so that'll make the second one. So if I'm sensible, what I'll do now is I'll put these into there like that. And get the other ardite out. So we need another four cobalt, I think. Yeah, it makes two for each one, doesn't it? Thought I've got some of that already, actually. So I've got a bit, few bits and pieces as well, which I was collecting when I was out. Let me just put some, what I can away. Double right click that with the right hand, there, and that puts anything away like that. And these ones should go into here quite happily. Let's go see a stone. Obsidian we're keeping with us, that will keep with us. Actually, I'm going to put the nether bricks up there. I think there's nether bricks, yes. And the flowers we can also put away. I'm keeping the flowers in this chest as it happens. So I've got a carnation, a poppy, and it was another, was another primrose, wasn't it? So <laughs> I've also got something else new. What is that one? Daffodil. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> so as you can see, now if I turn this on, this tank is already full. In fact, this tank is already full. And that's basically just because of the mob crusher. And I also think we're getting a load more loot in here. Look at this. That's already f just about filled up. And it's actually one of the problems I'm getting at the moment is have we got no magna creams in here? Okay. Interesting. So where am I? Oh yes, I'm trying to make these third stones, aren't I? Let's have a look in here now. Yes, I've got molten ingots here. That's great. So we've got those, so we can turn that onto that. And they'll come out. That'll get cooked. And then I can put into here the next four of those. That'll do fine. And what have we got? So that'll be then, so I can I should be able to just get the third stone straight out of here. This I'm doing manually, because I've got no hopper underneath this yet. How many have we got? Two blocks. Four blocks. We need two blocks, don't we? I think, no, we need four blocks for that, don't we? That's right, I remember now. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, I've got four blocks. Perfect. That was that sets fairly fast. 
So we've got our two millennium hammers in there. Great. So we've got four blocks that probably can do another one while we're doing this. So we should be able to craft this up now. Smart output. That one. Now does that complete the quest? Smart casting indeed it does. Let's go and have a look at that one. That was done. Smart casting. So we get a loot chest. But what's important is the next one here, the sterling engine. We'll get another loot chest. Let's have a put some loot chest. Another watering can, fantastic. It's a shame about that. <laughs> I wish it was counting towards the um I thought I'm gonna just chuck it away. Because I've got no use for it. I don't think there are any uses for this except for to upgrade it to that one. And you can enchant it. What enchantments does it take? Holding. One to four. Okay. I don't need it anyway. Get rid of it. I'll put the ice in here for the time being. So the sterling engine. What did that need? This one. So a block of gold. It's interesting how it picks that one. Two of those, one piece of glass, one stick, blocks of quartz. Well, that's no big deal either, that's just quartz, which I should have in here. So we need two blocks of quartz. And I think there's a piece of glass. And a I think that might be everything. Oh, a stick. <laughs> so we just need the stair bricks and a stick. Okay, the stair stone and the stick. And I've got a stair stone. That should be about ready now. One stick. We'll get one out of here like that. We just need two of these. We got in here now. Eight blocks, and it's actually blocked. I really should get the redstone clock onto that, but it doesn't help unless I've got some way of getting it out, doesn't it? The idea is to get rid of enough of this so we can actually. Um, but it's going to take a while, so I'll do that off. I'll do that between episodes because I don't think I'm going to have time to complete this today. But we can get the engine going, and we look at how that works, like that. So what we need to do, put this on. Power from the heat quest completed. Now, basically, what we need is a tank. Now I don't know whether it will work on this. Let's just try it. This is a full tank of lava. Let's just put it down here, for example. And and the engine should go on top of it. I'm not sure if it'll work with this one or whether I have to use the correct one. Oh, it is. <laughs> What's it tell us about it? So it's generating RF. And it'll be using up the lava in here, so I guess that's the case. Great. And it should be generating RF at around about... I don't know. Let's... If I break it, I suppose I'll lose the RF, so we'll break it now before we carry on. We'll put this outside. We can power some machines with that one, at least while I'm thinking about it. Let's try this one. I don't know how we connect it up, mind you. That's another thought. Let's take this down one block here. Ah, it probably won't be so perfect, but we'll try. Put that down there. And put the sterling engine on top of it. Oh, and does it work? Yes, indeed, it does. And that's filling that up fairly fast. So we can take the coal out of here. Wow. It's got no RF in there at the moment because it's all getting sent into here. Fantastic for that. Wow. I didn't actually expect that. Um, the coal, I can get rid of the coal because I've got loads. <laughs> what have we got in here now? I can get rid of. So, we've got the smart output. Now, this smart output thing, let's just 
take this out here. It's supposed to act like um, the same as. Let's have a little put it down. Oops, wrong. <laughs> was a dank. Yep. As a demonstration of the dank null dank for a dank null for you. So what, this looks similar, doesn't it? Put this down like that. And now I don't know whether we need that needs to connect directly to this. Let's just try that. I bet it does. Smart output. So you can choose between this or this. Ah, okay. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Empty the tank. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you what we'll try. Let's, let's break that again. Try it down here. I didn't try putting to actually activating the faucet, did I? Let's just try activating the faucet. Haha, -ha, yes. And indeed it's working. So I want this to be done as a as a block. Hopefully I can do this as a block and not just ingots. Uh uh. So what do I have to do with this next? Do I have to put an upgrade in that? So that's redstone upgrade fortune basin upgrade. Oh. That seems to be fair. Oh, dead cheap. I thought this was one of the ones. What's this thing do here? Slot upgrade. Various slot upgrades. That does seem a bit heavy for just, just to put a basin in it. But it's definitely not difficult to do. Let's go and do that. What I should be doing, what I want to do is the other bit. Let's, do, let's take this out of here. Ah, oh, yes, that would go into there, wouldn't it? But I need the basin. Okay, let's go and get the basin made. The only thing we needed from that was paper, wasn't it? It's got some plenty of paper. So we have to start with this one. We'll make ten of this one. One will be fine, I think. Then we'll go to this one, chests and copper. Chests, I've got three chests there. We'll make a quick chest here. Ah, oh, I must have got another chest in there because it went to the other side. I can't, oh, that's got two. Right, an extra chest is no big deal. So we need to make the wooden one. Then we need to make the iron tin one. And I think we need to make the gold one. What's that? Oh, night slime nuggets. Can't do that. What's a night slime? How do I make a night slime ingot? I'm going to have to do some casting on it. What's night slime? Hopefully I've got a recipe for this with actually, otherwise I'm stuck. Alloween, okay. Seared stone, very convenient. Liquid purple slime, problem. And molten iron, how do I get liquid molten slime by purple slime balls? I haven't seen any of those yet. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. But it seems a bit strange that this, I need that to do the, the basin upgrade. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter for this for now, does it? We can, I can figure that out at some stage. I'll put that away. I didn't think about that one. And we can move these two around. So let's take this one out of here. And this one out of here. Hopefully it doesn't lose the contents. Maybe it does. Oh, actually it does matter if I can get... That wouldn't be a big deal, actually. It does lose... Oh, it does lose contents. Fine. Because it was just seared stone in there. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't have enough in here. 
a one shot and one and get short oh that's um not what i'd intended to do so let's just get the one in get i should have one in here and then we make, can make a block and then put the block back in again well let's talk about faffing around so then we can actually put the yeah that into there but i've got to first of all get this thing done How does this thing work? You've got a maximum of one. I presume you've got different upgrades in here to do different things. And then I guess you put the slots into here, the things into the slots. How are we doing? Not yet done. It's nearly finished. Well, I think that's it. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It's been reasonably busy. And next time I'm going to carry on with this. Because the reason for this is we can make this, we can crush iron ore. And that is one of the things we need for later in the game. So I'll, until then, bye for now.